Well, we made it here to U.S. Cold Storage, which is kind of a cool little place, right? Uh, I guess they open your doors from the inside, except for if you're the guy next to me that has a piece of shit. Listen to this thing. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So it's like probably 40 degrees, like since the sun went down. Um, no reason to run your truck, right? Check this out. I mean, this thing's just a clacking away, boy. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, so got here at five. They gave me a door, 511. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to load. So I'm hoping this doesn't bite me in the ass. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, good day, red light already. So, oh, we'll see. Getting, uh, getting bread. I don't know how much it weighs. Let me I don't see. Why this thing always looks like I'm looking up. But, uh, anyways, made it here to Ralph's. Just uploaded the video on uh, fixing my trailer hub seal assembly, whatever the hell it is. So, everything went good. Got here. Appointment time was at 4 o'clock. Um, they put this one pretty damn tight because usually, like, my appointment time is not until like 6 or 8 o'clock at night. Um, they set it at 4 o'clock and, uh, you know, 4 o'clock, which kind of stinks because between the hours of 3 and 8, uh, traffic out here sucks balls. Actually, it's all day, but I don't think I made a video on how they had me out in like an hour uh, over at U.S. Food or U.S. Cold Storage or U.S.A. Cold Storage or something like that. So that was kind of neat. Uh, so that ain't too bad. And it's, it's like 30 miles closer, I think it was, uh, than the one that I usually do. And it's $200 more. So... But I think next time if I take it, I looked and see if they had it one for uh, for Friday and they actually did. But I'm taking the one by my house, which is, let's see, it's, it's almost four, 1500 bucks. So, so it's $400 cheaper, but I'll get home Friday. Uh, I'll take the rest of Friday off and then, uh, this load doesn't pick up until Saturday at one o'clock in the afternoon. And then it delivers down in Irwindale, which is the one place that's cool because they take like 20, 30 minutes to unload. So, and they have a staging area. So you can go over there and park and it'll be Saturday. So, or I can just go over to, uh, I'll probably just go over uh, to my, you know, to the yard in Ontario and just camp over there. That way, hopefully I can get a reset in. Um, I don't know, we're gonna try. I got 37.28 on my clock. I think I might be able to get a reset in. So anyways, we're gonna sit here. It's probably gonna take four or five hours. Again, this broker here pays detention after four hours. So that's kind of why I'm like, well, I'm gonna try to you know, bill it in with the rate, but again, they wouldn't budge at all. I tried to get 2000 for this load, but it's still like, oh, geez, what is it? I think it was like 648 miles, uh, 648, still almost three bucks a mile, all right, 293 a mile. So, and that's just, again, I just need to get down here to get my good load going up. So anything I get coming down here is a freaking right. buddy. We are done. Uh, almost four hours. It got done in two hours and it took almost two hours to do the damn paperwork, which is weird. So, so far, every time that I've came here, no lumpers. So, the whole time that I've had my trailer now, I think it's, uh, I got it in September, I think. Yeah. October, November, we're now in December. Uh, 
I have never, sorry about the darkness here. I'm driving, yo. Uh, I have, I've only paid Lumper once, and that was in Denver. And it was like, what, $209? So, awesome coming here, man. Like, once you get over, you know, as I did the, the, the hub seal, and then I made some dinner. And by the time I did that, man, it, it freaking, basically, uh, they were done unloading me, gave me the green light, so I went over to the staging area, sat there for about an hour and a half. Let's see, 7.30, yeah, so I got here at four. So three and a half hours. So it took them, yeah. Took them two hours to unload me and another hour and a half to do paperwork, but no uh, no lumpers. So that's fucking awesome, man. So this is actually a better run. Again, I've only done it once, but uh, going to the USA food cold storage, again, was a lot closer. Um, and it's not that heavy. It's like the same weight. It's like 30,000 pounds as far as the peas go or the frozen vegetables go and, and the uh, bread or whatever. But this is actually stacked a lot nicer. So I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, look into doing this one here again. All righty. Let's see. There we go. We're heading out. We're gonna try to head out anyways, but uh, so the reason I wanted to get that wheel seal or hub seal fixed uh, right away was because it seems like they're cracking down on inspections. So uh, in California, they had it shut down. Uh, the pre-pass shut down, so they were pulling everybody in. And the funny thing is, is two guys said fuck it and they went into the bypass way and I was watching them. You could tell like, oh, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? Anyways, they did it and uh, they got popped big time. So that was a good thing. Hopefully they both got level one inspections and they both fucking failed and they got out of service because that would be awesome. Uh, and then in Nevada, the check stations have been opened. So the only one that hasn't been opened is uh, was the one yesterday coming down Cajon Pass. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But uh, we'll see if my check engine light comes on again going up Cajon Pass. But uh, I plan on putting the truck in the shop. Hopefully I can get through one more. Saturday and then I'll come down here for Sunday spend the night and then um, Monday shit I might just cancel the fucking whole week because my wife is coming back up on Monday so maybe she can pick me up I don't know we'll find out and see see what this guy did let's just park in the middle of the fucking just park in the middle of the uh, intersection. So I might cancel my load coming down for Saturday and uh, just drop this bitch off uh, on Monday. So I don't know. I don't know. I kind of need the money, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, so be careful out there. Uh, the man is and again. Going up Cajon, never fucking fails. I can go up every fucking pass from here to Salt Lake, Salt Lake and back, and never have any issues. As soon as I come up this fucking pass, I'm telling you, I, I don't know what it is. Like Baker Grade is bigger than this motherfucker. Fucking uh, mountain pass is bigger than this motherfucker. Every time, man. Every time. I don't know. The, the common sense of people just make no sense. Like me, I look like 
I would never park in front of a driveway entrance, right? Because people coming in, people coming out. Uh, I tried to avoid it. So, I don't know. That's just me. But, anyways. So, we made it here. It's midnight. So, filled up the uh, generator. Got the reefer running on non-stop at minus 10 with my frozen breadsticks. I think, I'm pretty sure these are the same breadsticks uh, for Olive Garden. Because uh, the place that I used to work at actually made the Olive Garden breadsticks for all of Southern California. So, pretty interesting. The funny thing is, is I went into an Olive Garden and, uh, you know, ask the waitress or whatever. Uh, I was like, hey, these are great breadsticks. And she's like, yeah, we make them fresh daily. And I was like, really? She's like, yeah, we make them fresh daily. We bake them in our ovens and blah, 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 blah. I said, wow, I said, that's funny. Uh, I said, I, not to be a dick or anything. I said, I don't know if you guys are, are, are like, taught to say that, but... I said, I work at the facility that actually makes the breadsticks. And I said, they're actually even better when they when they come out fresh. So, because I actually had, like, I, I used to walk the floor. Uh, there ain't nothing better than a bun or a hot dog bun. And, oh, and they made the bread for, uh, the pumpernickel bread for uh, uh, claim jumpers and... Um, who else? I forget. They made a lot of bread for the restaurants in Southern California. But I'm like, there's nothing better than having a fresh uh, bread that comes out. They made the bread for Carl's Jr. Uh, little small mom and pop. I knew the, the actual owners. Um, the actual, I guess, brothers. Um, they're kind of weird, but... Anyways, off topic, but it was kind of a, that was probably one of my funnest job was delivering the, delivering the bread. We used to deliver them to, uh, to different depots and then they would have their bread trucks go out and deliver them to, um, the restaurants and stuff. And then they made the bread and the hot dog buns for Dodger Stadium. Uh, that was fun delivering there. Uh, the Staples Center. I used to deliver the Staples Center. Dodger Stadium. Angel Stadium. Uh, whatever the, the, the Mighty Ducks. The, the Pond. Uh, delivered there. Um, all the major, like, big-ass sporting events out. Or, you know, baseball and shit out there. But So, anyways. Good times, huh? So... I'm going to take the truck into the shop uh, Monday. I'm going to go home tomorrow and uh, call it a week. And, and the funny thing is, is the truck completely runs fine. I think there is a conspiracy in California. My wife's like, well, maybe just don't go into California anymore. I'm like, you know, I'm thinking maybe run for like a week without going into California and see if this fucking check engine light comes on. Because I went to Denver and back. Okay. Uh, Denver and back. No, no issues. Uh, fully loaded. Uh, going to Denver. Coming back, I just, I just bobtail because I was, I, I got such a good rate going in. I was like, fuck it, I can just bobtail home or deadhead home. Uh, and then I made it all the way down to uh, California. Of course, I, I did deadhead all the way to California. No issues. As soon as I go up the Cajon Pass, boy, it, 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 whatever reason, same spot uh, within the you know five five to ten miles, the same spot past the scale house. Uh, like the Monday it happened, uh, it was right out like about two miles after the scale house, and then today it was about uh, five five uh, yeah about five ten miles past the scale house. And that, that, that little stretch right there is about uh, where it always happens. So, I don't know. Fucking interesting, man. Just 
trippy uh but no issues so i don't know we'll see what happens
I've heard guys that said, I got fined $400 for being like 30 minutes late. Like, what the fuck? But yet, if I sit there for four or five hours, I get a whopping, like, you know, 70 bucks or some shit. Like, 150 at the max is usually what they say, right? So, it's just, this whole industry just sucks ass. And, uh, you know, we are responsible for so much shit. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So, I don't know. Anyways, driving home, I'm done. It's just funny now, you know, it's like, I used to have the itch to like, oh, you know, if I was home for two or three days, I, I'd want to go back out, I'm like, cool, let's go out and make some money. You know, I was home for like a week and like a day or something like that. I didn't want to leave. This week I, I stopped, I stopped at the house uh, twice this week, so I spent the night at the house two nights this week, and it's like, I didn't want to leave, like, up to the point to where I don't even want to fucking drive this truck anymore, and, and then with the, the burden of what, what keeps, you know, why is the damn check engine light, like, it's, it's restricting me from going anywhere, uh, and then going down into California and dealing with that shit and the stress of getting back down there and getting a load. And yeah, I'm hooked up with some brokers now that, you know, hey, I can call them up and be like, hey, you got a load going from here to here. And they're like, yeah, we got two or three of them. Do you want one? So, I don't know. I, I, well, not going to California, but going down to Vegas. And the, the extra leg to go down into Southern California, I think, is burning me out because I just. I hate California. Like I moved out of there for a reason. But uh, I don't know. I, I just maybe it's, it's just getting old. Uh, and I have been doing this for over 20 years. So I think I'm just getting burnt out in the industry. Will be. Uh, It'll be a Walmart greeter or something, right? Or I was actually thinking, I, I think it would be cool to become like an electrician uh, or something to do, you know, I, I enjoy fixing shit, right? Like, like I had my own repair shop for five years. Uh, that's a whole different story, but I enjoy, I really enjoyed doing that. Having my having a repair shop, um, but politics, right? Politics fucked me over, and uh, greediness, greediness fucked me over. Not greediness on my end, greediness on other people's end. But anyways, so I guess this is the wrap up of the week. It is Friday. It took three and a half hours to get unloaded, but again, the good thing is, is I, I get that money next week, right? My, my buddy will pay me the, the hour, the 30 minute detention time. So I get an hour and a half detention time this week. But uh, I'm gonna take the truck down on, on Monday. Cause my wife's going down to Vegas again. And uh, I'm gonna take the truck down on Monday and on her way back home from Vegas gonna pick me up at St. George, so anyways, thanks for watching, comment down below